Sophie. The look for Sophie is kind of a country girl who's becoming a princess, so it's kind of undone done in a weird kind of way. It's basically two ponytails, one sits at the nape of the neck and one very low, and it's a little bit of backcombing, a little bit of potion, a veil potion which dishevels the hair a little bit, and then tied together and kind of very soft and sensual around the edges of the front. Yeah. Very beautiful, very pure, but from the country, but with the elegance. So I just went through that pureness of it, and I just avoid with like any pencil, no, no foundation, lot of, lot of green, lot of cream, like cream blusher, like in pink to get that chic country style effect. So it's very pretty with this idea of like fairy that I work on the eyes with all the sparkles on the eyes on the eyelid but no foundation and no mascara. Yes, I was very proud to win the CFD Vogue Fashion Fund. It was a big thing for me and uh, it gives me a lot of like, I feel like good. <laughs> no, no. It's fantastic to have the support and uh, no, it's like a big thing and uh, I'm very proud as I say. And I was nominated with like great designer, so I'm very happy about it. Well, it's never easy to pick a winner of the CFD Book Fashion Fund. We had 10 very talented designers, uh, and all of them were worthy of winning the top prize, which is a business grant and a mentor. But in this instance, Sophie won, and I think a lot of it had to do with uh, her um, intense uh, ability, uh, uh, her uh, ideas, and she's a real sewer. She uh, uh, knows how to drape, she knows how to sew. Uh, she's a designer, she's not just turning out clothes. She's actually conceiving an idea, uh, making a pattern out of that, and then actually constructing the garment. She's a, a mechanic in some ways, uh, in a fashion. I just think it's wonderful that in New York there could be someone who worked for nine years with Azadina Laya, who before that was with Gote, who has that kind of training, who knows how to make clothes at that level, making clothes here. It's a kind of wonderful privilege that someone would come to New York with that skill set. It's not just that she has this incredible skill set and she's been doing it for a while and is really good at it, it's that she also has a real sense of how her business has to grow and she has the kind of energy and um, enthusiasm and just sort of bigger around her to get it there. I just think that she's slowly and incrementally built a kind of designer dress business under incredibly restricted um, means. I mean, she lives with her husband and a child in a one-bedroom apartment in Brooklyn and makes the collection out of that apartment. I think now they, since winning the award, they finally have a separate studio or she's um, been given help getting one through the CFDA. I was inspired by all the stories that we, that little girl grew with all around the world. And uh, I was inspired by the color also, by the color of the Aurore Boreal. So it's a lot of gray, a lot of blue. Uh, uh, it's like really kind of soft color and at the same time, strong color like uh, pink and red. 
I was also inspired by Podane. It's a French movie with Catherine Deneuve. In English, it's called Donkey Skin. And there is that moment when Catherine Deneuve asks a father to do like a, a, col a dress color of the time, so color of the life. So I try to capture that feeling to make a dress color of life. I think she's a great talent and I think she has a refined sense of colour. I mean, I think she certainly knows how to make things properly. Uh, that tra all that training with Azadine, I think she's like, you know, one of those people who New York needs. Sophie does a sort of a beautifully made, extremely wearable clothes. I mean, they're just the sort of things you'd want to sort of take away on a holiday. So, of course, they have kind of a summery feel. Um, um, but I, I thought it was great that she'd added components like the, um, the lamb and the uh, cashmere pieces. And, um, I, I, you know, I love what she does. I think she has a very... Um, subtle sort of poetic colour sense. Two prints. So one is about the peasant the print. It's like a, the, I come from the south of France and uh, the print is very, very simple. It's a little flowers with like, it's a, an original print where I come from. And the second one, it's a snowflake print. So it's very fairy and I put underneath like uh, gold or silver. So it make like uh, you have like snow on the dress. She's a really pragmatic designer. She makes the kind of clothes that a woman always is going to find useful in her wardrobe. And it's not, it's not totally about fashion change. It's a, it's a slow evolution. And, um, you know, this season, I think, with increased funding and so on, you could see that, that she'd really kind of um, notched it up in, the, in terms of adding all those different elements. She made the most incredibly beautiful dresses. I mean, the finishing is impeccable, the, the cut is impeccable, the way she works with um, quite diaphanous fabrics, crinkled chiffons are incredible. The shapes that I do, it's always shapes that are gonna flatter the body of the woman and make her feel like confident beautiful and elegant at the same time. So this time I have a tweed with cashmere, which is like a really nice with a tint of stretch, a velvet. I always work around like the silk and the chiffon and uh, voila.